<laughs> oh god. Okay. Now I have to... I haven't done this in such a long time. It feels like. No, I just haven't. Ooh, say what, say what, say what. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I've sat down and talked to you guys or sat down and did any type of tutorial or anything. It's mainly been vlogs. I have five videos. I don't know why I keep using this hand. I'm missing a nail. It just broke today. But I have five videos sitting in my computer and I ran out of storage. So this video may be a way later after I actually recorded it but um all of that aside thank you guys for coming back to my channel for those of you who are subscribed thank you for watching this video and for those of you who are not subscribed why what are you what are you what are you doing go ahead and go down below and just like click that little button that says subscribe you should do it thank you so basically as you can see the elephant in the room i'm bald uh i'm not bald but you know clearly um i cut my hair off so <laughs> yay exciting right it's a new thing it's a new me you know the year of 20 i'm going bolder i don't know i don't know what i'm doing but i decided to cut my hair after three years of being natural it was really weird uh when i first cut it and, and it was just weird to look at because i was so used to my my medium length hair my hair basically was cut three years ago i cut it by myself i just cut off my straight pieces and let myself keep going um but basically it just wasn't growing um it was breaking off really bad especially in the past couple of months uh it's been breaking off it's really brittle and dry and i've tried to switch up my routine a little and do a little more and do a little less but i decided i just need to start over because my breakage got to a point where my hair was just uneven in many different sections this side was longer than this side and the middle was shorter than the rest of my hair and the front was just completely broken off so I decided to just get it to an even-ish length um, just so everything can get back to normal and you know I made a really good decision because I have the head for it I have the head and face for it <laughs> I think that's what everybody's been telling me so I fell in love with it like after I cut it, I was just like, oh my god, and I wet it, and I put my product in, and I was like, whoa. Like, this is so cute. I love it. I'm sorry I didn't sit down and record and show you guys as I was cutting it, but I do have um, a video inside of this video for you guys. Um, my friend, my best friend, I was on FaceTime with her, um, and she screen recorded most of the process and there's no sound to it but i'm just gonna go ahead and put that in and let you guys watch it so enjoy it i was being like so terrified and it just takes a minute for me to just cut it off it took a while um it's quite sad and <laughs> Um, you know, this was just a very scary thing for me to do myself because I always screw things up and I definitely screwed this up, but it was okay because it was all going to just be cut off anyway. But, um, yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah.
honestly, that took a lot out of me. A lot. But anyways, so now I'm just going to let you guys see my new routine. Uh, it consists of five products, I believe, um, which is a problem. It is. I think that's probably why my hair, you know, left. But I am working on a new routine. I don't know when I'm going to have it, but right now this is my routine for my hair to get it nice and curly and pretty and blah, 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 blah. Um, so... Let's just hop right in. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is my spray bottle. And I'm just gonna begin wetting my hair with the spray bottle. dripping wet oh god i'm gonna go in with my cantu leave-in conditioner it's my favorite leave-in it's like the only one that i use anyway um so yeah i'm just gonna put that distribute that all through my head Now that I have the leave-in conditioner in my head, I like to go in with my Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I take about a quarter size, cause that's just, it's just what I like. And I go in a circling motion around my head. So like this, well, I can't show you in the back, but I just go in the same motion around my head. Then I use my other hand and try to redo that motion. And I just twirl some pieces with my fingers. Sometimes, um, just when they're not picking up what I want them to pick up. Then I like to go in with this um, Frizz Free Curl Mousse from Shea Moisture. I actually just started using this um, and I really like it. Like, I like it a lot. And I realized, like, mousse makes my hair curl better and it just looks better and there is less frizz with this mousse. So I go in with the Shea Moisture and I go in with like a lot of pumps. <laughs> Ten. And I get this little foam mountain on my finger. I mean, on my hand. And I do the same thing again. And try not to do what I just did and put one mountain on one section. <sighs> Last but not least, <laughs> I know this is a lot for someone with super short hair, but um, it just works. Um, then I go in with my Curls Blueberry Bliss Gel. I love this gel so much, oh my goodness. And I'm running out, so I don't know what I'm gonna use next when I run out, but. Okay. So I have a lot of gel on my hands, and I'm just gonna rub it around my feet. I mean, Rub it around my hands. Go through. And as you can see, my hair is super white. 
Now that the gel is all through my hair, I like to go in and twirl some curls around my fingers just to tighten them up a little bit more. Now that that's all done, I either like to um, air dry, sit under the dryer, or both. What I usually do, or what I have been doing for the past two weeks, um, I sit under the dryer for about 20 minutes on um, a medium setting, and then I get from under the dryer just so that the whiteness all goes away. I usually have had something to do for the rest of the day, um, but today I don't, so what I'm gonna do is do the same thing but just dry it longer um so i'm just going to sit under the dryer for about 30 minutes and then let it air dry for the rest of the day because my curls take forever to dry even like this it's taken so long it's probably because well it's definitely because of how much product i have but but yeah so now i'm gonna go ahead and sit under the dryer and i will be right back <laughs> um I just did my makeup because I was bored, but, you know, who doesn't do that? So, now my hair is dry, and I don't know if you can really see, like, clearly, but the curls are really defined, there's minimal, minimal frizz, and that's it. This video was just to show you guys that I did cut my hair and I wanted to try something new and basically restart so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I hope you try the routine if you just big chopped as well and for those of you who are going to big chop soon you just gotta go for it something you really can't overthink because I've been thinking about it for a minute um, before I got home from Italy and I had to do it. I literally did it the week, like the weekend of me being home. Um, so for any of you out there who want to cut your hair, do a big chop, go for it, enjoy it, you'll love it, you'll feel free and it's something new. And it's something that every natural girl should go through in her journey, at least once. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to put out more content for you guys. And I hope you guys are ready for it. Because I am. And as you can see, like I have better lighting and a different background. Um, all I did was flip my camera. And I'm facing my mirror now. And you guys see my actual room. But anyways, I'm rambling on as always. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.